<laughs> Dude, guest on Tempo here with our guest, Skonka. Make sure to follow my boy. Link in the description. We're here at Guest on Tempo. Uh, how we doing, bro? Chilling. Chilling? Yeah. Yeah, we just got done doing a podcast. That was fun. Yeah. We got to learn more about your upbringing and DJing. Uh, <clears throat> shows, new music. You can go ahead and check that episode out. Link in the description. Uh, is this your first time uh, kind of familiarizing yourself with the Guess That Tempo segment? Or have you seen any videos of this? This is going to be my first time. Oh, I've okay. seen any videos or anything. All right. So you're yeah. going strictly straight naked. Blind, yeah, yeah. Straight blind. <laughs> for sure. So we'll break down the rules, dude, with Guess That Tempo. So it's a segment we do here at Lucid Tempo where we showcase new music to our guests. And our guest has to guess the tempo of it. Straightforward. Uh, we do six rounds of it. And uh, after we play the song, uh, we'll take some time to think about the tempo and the way it works is uh, we reveal the tempo after your answer uh, but you don't have to be on, on the dot with the number so as long as you're within two uh, two numbers of the original okay tempo you're fine All right. so I'll give you an example if like the if BPM two beats like exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so straight for, uh, from either side so yeah, from the positive or the negative side, it doesn't matter. Okay. So if it's 130, you say 132 or 128 All right. or 129 or 131, you're you're in that parameters. So you're good to go. All right. You get the point. So no extra points if you're on the dot. So don't waste like any extra oh, energy on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <for real. laughs> I mean, that's that has to be pretty like, you know, you got to get something for that. Well, I'll tell, like, right well, well, tell you what, dude, like it's... <laughs> well, I mean, we'll see how it goes, bro. Because look, I, I'm kind of... What, what if I'm just like right on the dot, like... What if I just say like it's 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 like one oh one point eighty nine or something like that? <laughs> you know, I know like some hip hop beats they you know they 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 do that weird shit where they have like no for sure yeah, okay I they mean have we, the point the point something. I mean we'll be running up in, in here you know we'll okay. be running up. Dude. I mean <laughs> we'll, right. we'll be fair, All right. but when we get, when we cross that bridge you know we'll we'll get there. All right. Uh, but yeah, dude, uh, straightforward. We got six rounds for you, six bangers. Uh, are you ready? You need some time? You need nah, to meditate? No, nah, you're supposed ready, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Straight out of Compton, literally. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm excited to show you some of these tracks, bro. Uh, some tracks I've just came across them this week, fresh as it is. Uh, I got I got a track of mine in there. I'm excited to share with you, too. We'll get to tempo on that. Uh, we'll get there. But we're here to the first round. First round, we got Protoxia. I believe that's how you say that. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, if you come across this episode. Uh, include the pronunciations, please. But this track is called Heat. Are you familiar with Protoxia? No. No? Not too familiar. For sure. Well, this track just came out, I want to say, a couple days ago. So it's pretty fresh. Uh, doesn't have too much life on it. So let's check this out for the first round. Uh, we'll just get right into the buildup, and then we'll go from there, and we'll talk, okay. we'll talk numbers after. Turn up the heat Toxia turning up the heat with this new single. Go stream that everywhere. Link in the description. All right, I'm, I'm gonna say it's like, like 124. Ooh, 124. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's interesting. It, it felt kind of slow. Like, yeah, I, I'm gonna say like 124, 124, right. 126 ish or whatever. But like, like you do have like that two beats yeah. parameter like leeway. So you know, definitely. Yeah. You I'm know, gonna go with 124. 124. <laughs> yeah. Final answer. Yeah. All right. We're going to get right into it with the first round here with our special guest, Skonka. Link in the description for more updates with him. Now that you're the answer for the first round here at Lucid Tempo. All right. Record box shows the BPM. Oh, oh 128. damn. 128. <laughs> damn. That was, that was a sneaker, bro. Uh, I mean, you did it mention felt, It felt kind of slow. I was like, I don't know. Maybe it was like the pattern. <laughs> 
I, I feel like it has something to do with that bass line. With the way the bass line The way that bass line yeah. was coming in, I kind of swear. I had like a little, a little swerve slower. to it. Uh huh. <laughs> and it, it's kind of hard too when there's not that much elements. When it's just like a bass line too, it's very hard to uh, find a reference point sometimes uh, to these rhythms. True. Very true. Uh, I've noticed that with some of the records that we've premiered, uh, when you don't have much melodic things going on. Yeah, well, or if it doesn't reference. have like too much percussion in it, that's how you can't. Can't really tell. No, no. <laughs> but hey, you you weren't too far off, bro. It's yeah. 124, 128. <laughs> I was gonna say 126, and I would have been I would have been like too too off. <laughs> I mean, you would have got the point. Yeah, you would have got, got a point. point. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, orange and apples, bro. It's all all right. <laughs> Second round, we're getting to it. Uh, first off, uh, I really like this track. It's called "I See a Way." It's by Great Milk. Uh, I came across Great Milk. I want to say 2021 with a track called. 53, 54, something like that. And it was like way much more chiller. Okay. Hella way much more chiller. Like think of like the lo-fi, like German bass. Uh, kind of like, uh, it was just much more chill than what the fuck we're going to hear right now. Because this is a Halcyon release, which is like a, a future uh, rhythm, yeah. color bass label from like a reputable dubstep producer, uh, Ula Sao. Uh, and the fact that this producer... Uh, got a release with this uh, record. Like, I, it was real cool to see because my first introduction to this person was a completely different record to what we're hearing this. So, I see a way. Hope you guys enjoy this. Oh, I forgot to mention. So, like, what if what if it's double time? So, like, if you play like a dubstep track, right? And it's like, like, what if I like if I said it's one forty BPM, it's but then it shows seventy. Like, do oh, I man. still get the point? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> But hey, I'm glad you pointed that yeah, out for sure. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you got ask questions, bro. You got to ask questions you do, for sure. But I hope you guys enjoy this track. I see a way by Great Milk, uh, out on Halcyon. Check it out. <laughs> I see a way. <laughs> I see a way, bro. So you gotta see a way too. That one's really tough. Cause I like I wanna say it's like within like the one thirty to like one forty range, but I don't think it's like one forty because it's just like a little slower. I don't know. How often are you hearing these rhythm uh, these kind of rhythms like tempos? Uh or what you're hearing. Oh well actually like last night, I mean, because I got like even though this was like, you know, like a like kind of like dubstep -y kind of mm -hmm. track like i was still tapping like kind of like in a like, oh, like faster a, rhythm oh, yeah, yeah like double time double time and then and it, it it gave me like a like a hard techno like rhythm so i was oh, like so, like, that so i was like oh. yeah so i was like i don't know like i feel like this is like probably like 138 go with like, your gut bro go with your gut i'm telling I'm gonna you say, i'm gonna say 138 mm, I, I'm not gonna answer, bro. <laughs> and I, you know I, we don't hear that answer too often but I'm not getting that answer, bro. I'm, f I'm feeling you. <laughs> I'm feeling you on this one. And I don't know. Pause. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see if Record Box is feeling you, though, bro. Right. And that's no pause because we got to reveal that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 138. Final answer. What's the BPM? Oh, 140, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Look at that. 140. You got the point, bro. Hell yeah. I got that was a point. much more challenging one you said too, huh? Yeah. I think don't because it felt kind of slower, but at the same time, it felt fast. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 140. 138, bro. Good shit on that one. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're really close with that one. All right. We're on the third round, bro. How we feeling? Checking in with Good. you. Yeah. I think I see the name of the artist, so I think I already know what tempo it is. 
Okay. Oh, for sure. All right, you want to... You hey, fuck it. This is not here. You want to guess it? Hey, you're that confident? Nah, let here. <laughs> Who knows? They might have came up with a different style or something. Right. It's like, no, bro. If you want to run that shit, we'll run it. But Moxie, uh, Nostalgics, Give Me Bass. I like this track. That's all I got to say. I like this track. Press play. I think that's Hunger on the vocals, too. I think she does a lot of vocal work. Bass by Moxie and Nostalgics. Link in the description. Stream that everywhere. All right. I'm, I'm going to say 128. <laughs> can, can I guess with you, bro? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Final answer? Yeah, 128. <laughs> 130. <laughs> what you thinking, Robert? I want to know what you're thinking. 126. 126. Damn. We're everywhere. One's going to come out. Actually, we could all be right. <laughs> Oh, Actually, I, I could be right. right. I could be right because you said it's two, right? So if it's one twenty six, I still get it right. Yeah, and if it's one, if it's one twenty eight, we're all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all we're right. All right. So, um, <laughs> hey man, hey, may the best man win. Oh wait, we all win. May we all win. Let's find out. Record box. What's the BPM on this one? One twenty six. Oh, look at you two. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a side crap out on this. This one, bro. Uh, it went over 21 on this one. Yeah, I crapped out, bro. Fuck. I shouldn't have double, double dipped. Fuck. Well, yeah, bro. 126. 128, dude. Good shit. Yeah, I don't know. I was just kind of going on a limb right there. 130. It sounded 130 to me. Um, what do you think about the track, though? Give me bass. Yeah. I, I used to fuck with bass house pretty heavy before. What, what uh, made you not want to fuck with it as much no more now? Oh, I just, like, stopped producing it because, like, I don't know. I just, like... I guess I got, I got like into a block with it and it just like I wasn't really having fun producing it no more. <laughs> you know what? Uh, do you feel like I'm not sure if you've like tested around with several genres like producing. Uh, and also you too, Robert. Like uh, I feel like there are some genres when you produce when you have had like that variety of like different genre productions. There are those genres where like that it's funner than some other like yeah, Le- less tedious. Yeah. Less tedious than other there's, genres. There's genres that are funner to produce. Uh, and I was like, Bass House, I, I really like to produce it before, but then it just like came to a time where I just like felt I was doing the same thing, kind of, in a sense. I mean, and I was just like, I mean, not to say that like, it's all the same thing or whatever. It's just like me, myself, I was just like at a block. And I just like, I guess I like got burnt out on it. So I was just like, yeah, I stopped producing it. <laughs> well, you ready for the fourth round? Yeah. Oh, dude, you got two out of three so far. Two out of three. Yeah. How are you How are you expecting to do? I don't know. Before we started. Oh, you Probably didn't even decent. know. Decent. Decent? Well, you're doing great I'm waiting so for, far. like, a curveball. Like, maybe oh, you shit. give me, like, some gabber or something. Oh. Like. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't, oh, no. We'll what, what, what the hell did you, what the hell did you, you say me, to me? Like, you give me, like, little Texas or something. What the I'm hell did like... you just say to me? <laughs> you want a curveball now? Okay. Uh, you know what? Here we go. Fuck. Hey, you know what? Right timing, bro. Right, right. timing. Fourth what, round, like bro. a gabber track right here? Or what is it? <laughs> Dude. Uh, uh, careful what you wish for, bro. Because with mile 32, he brought, uh, I think you say Chimera. Yeah, Chimera, Chimera. by mile 32. Uh, you wanted the curveball, bro. So he- here we have it. Um, Good luck. Uh, yeah, let's go to the first buildup. And then we'll talk. We'll talk after. Yeah. Let's get this. <laughs>
All right, chill, 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 chill. Fuck, God damn. Relax, relax. You were right to do that. I know. Like, like, I would have walked. I would have like still if been I down. Stop it there. I would have st- listened to the whole track. I think if you, I think if you would not have stopped it, this whole house would have been on fire, bro. Like, yeah. I, like it, I, you made the right choice to be honest. Because I was about to get the Glock out of my car and like, fuck. <laughs> Chimera mile thirty two. Uh, Curveball. Uh, He's like, nah, bro. One twenty eight. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I think I think this one's like probably like say like one forty five. Mm. <laughs> Liking that one. Final answer. Yeah. Okay. Robert, what what are you doing? One forty five is a good good guess. Um, this one had like a heart, like it gave me like a heart style vibe. So I was like. It was like maybe 150, but I don't know. Maybe that's too like too fast. So, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I want to say 150, but because I because I, I I was almost expecting it to drop into like one of those like hard style drops where it's like goo, oh, goo, it goo. yeah. So that's all like. I'd say 140. <laughs> I want 150 is a good answer too. But I'm, gonna say I'm gonna say 145. <laughs> right. I'm gonna go with you, Stoka. 145 for me, 140 for Robert, uh, 145 for Stoka as well. Uh, yeah, shout out, uh, 32 wow. for that track, yeah. Chimera. Fire. It's gonna be 150 watts. Let's see what's the VPN. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh! Oh, uh, <laughs> Ooh, damn. 140. Be like that. I mean, we're close to it. 145. <laughs> so not that far off, bro. Really not that far off. Oh, man. So Link in the description. Curveball, curveball, for sure. Oh, hell yeah. Oh shit! You got an original right here. Let's go. <laughs> yep, final master, final master. I uh, honestly yeah, bullshit, and that's like the twelfth master. I mean, it is a final master though. Well, yeah, it's the final. Final master. It's not a mess. It's a final. It's master. the final. <laughs> so there was like so many fucking so masters many before. before this and yeah. shit. Uh, let me ask you this: How many masters have you gone through personally? Uh, it depends. I mean, sometimes like some masters are just like on point, like the first time, but. Usually it's like two or three. Two or three? Yeah. yeah. How many how many versions do you think I went through this before I got to the final? Twelve. So final master. Twelve? I mean, was it just like a master that you kept switching or was it the mix down? Mm-hmm. The mastering, the mastering. Oh, really? Just the master alone? Yeah, because usually like if it's a mix down thing, like that, yeah, that's that's a lot. I'm always going back and switching like stuff up, but final master, no, like probably like twice, three times. How many times you did it? Like uh this is for sure like six, seven. Six, seven masters. Six, seven final masters. Wow. You do your own mastering or? So far, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm willing to pay like stupid like right nah, now. You don't, you don't have to. I mean, you got you got Ozone. Do I got Ozone 11? Yeah, exactly. You got Ozone 11, bro. Like, <laughs> Just dragging a reference track, bro. Yeah, and, bro, yeah, bro Eurobus Dirty Work. That's my favorite. <laughs> that's my favorite reference track. There you go, guys. Yeah. There you go, guys. Hero Bus and Dirty if you Work. find a wave, even better, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> No, for sure. That's my reference track. But, uh, hey, fifth round. I uh, got a track of mine. Uh, the main single off of my new EP, Time of My Life. Uh, Time of My Life. Uh, go stream that everywhere right now. It's on your favorite music app. I got stems available, so if you want to make your own remix. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to have an official <laughs> remix EP. Uh, I already got people sending me VIPs on my own tracks, bro. Yeah, it's yeah, not my, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, it's released, <laughs> but oh, it's released. I had okay. someone send me a VIP uh, on the release day of my EP. Oh wow, bro! I was like, "Damn, bro, you was." It, he didn't. He didn't, re, he didn't label remix. They, they he labeled hacked, it VIP. I was like, "Oh, okay, you on computer. that shit?" They hacked into, into your computer and got the stems. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a German bass uh, record. Uh, I got four tracks in a new EP. Three new, one's a re-release. I uh, got that power. Uh, the others, I can't believe it. Uh, time of my life, and then like this. That's about it. Yeah. Traditionally, it was going to be five, but I ended up doing four. So you can stream that everywhere. Uh, hope you enjoy this record. Uh, it's one of my favorites ones that I've made. Definitely my favorite off the EP, bro. I've, like I said earlier, I've listened to this song close to like 50 times already. I think. It's, it's a vibe. It's a yeah. vibe. And you, know, it's, uh, you know, it's crazy to me to say that. I really like this song. I love it. 
but I can't really, I can't really like listen to it no more <laughs> because uh, because uh, and it doesn't say that I hate it. Like, I love it. Like I'll listen to it. Like if someone's bumping it, but like eh, it's yeah. a producer thing. Like I listen you gotta to take it a so break many. From it. Yeah, yeah, I listen to the EP like over and over. Like before release day, and like like I'm I'm happy to promote it for sure. Listen to it, but like I'm kind of getting over like I'm ready for new music now. Like I'm at that <laughs> point now. Yeah. But no, yeah, stream the new EP. It's out. Uh, yeah. No label uh, out on my profile. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Free downloads, free stamps. Uh, and then we'll get right into the first drop and then we'll talk about the tempo after. So, with the break button. Fun fact, I was actually going to really scrap that part because it sounded very uh, Disneylandish to me. <laughs> the, with the vocal? Yeah, or, like, oh. the, like the pitch level on it. Like, I, oh, That sounds really cool. I, yeah, I, I like that it. vibe. I, ultimately, yeah. I gave it, I gave into it and I, I like the vibe. But like for some reason, like I'll, when I first came across that, like I really wanted to scrap it because I feel like the vocals, like the pitch on the vocals, when it made that at the time, of like, it felt very… Um, like chipmunks? There yeah. you go. Yeah, it, yeah, there you go. It just sounded very like. Yeah, I feel like that 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 goes with the vibe. Like I don't know, I like it. It fits. Yeah, it sounds really cool. Yeah, no, I like, I like how you brought that up because I initially during a production session I was like really like having hard thoughts on like scrapping, not the section per se, but the vocals. Oh. I was gonna use another another vocal phrase, oh. or I was actually gonna just maybe even cut the whole, that whole part and just like make the song shorter, oh. but. Again, uh, I think I just gave in. T- it was one of those things where I'm like, okay, I, I just need to let the public decide. Yeah. I, it was it, that was a factor because ultimately I wasn't really too sure, uh, but it was a moment for me to let the public decide. Like I didn't want I didn't want me to like make that decision for the public. Like I think the public should have the chance to see how that came out. So yeah, time of my life, stream that everywhere, German bass, but I got some dubstep records in there too, and another German bass one got that power. Yeah, that's a very dope yeah. track. Uh, I'm gonna say 174. Final answer? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to it. What do you think, Robert? 174. 174. Uh, what do I think? Uh, 174. Alright, <laughs> 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 <Yeah, laughs> yeah, record box. Oh, 87. You see the halftime you're talking the about. The halftime thing. But now, yeah. but but no, it's 174 One- though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 87 times two. Yeah, yeah we got you, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got the point, bro. Quick maths. Yeah, if it's drum and bass, like usually it's 174 for those that are tuned in, not too familiar with the rhythms. Uh, or 87 if you're that kind of weirdo. But uh, that's fine. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Double time, half time. Uh, I'm going I'm to do- oh, Okay, oh, well, let's what talk this prefer? right now. Do you uh, like yeah, I'm going I'm I'm like... to say this right now. I'm a double time person. I'm a double time like person. Number, like numbers wise. Like I, yeah. I, I like to see my numbers in double time format. Uh what about you, Robert? Yeah, because for me, double time I don't know. I'm just wired that way. I, I since well, I've since I've DJ, like I've always had my format like so double time. I think because when I started on Serato, it automatically had my shit half timed. I just got used to it. And then plus like for me, I think when everything's half timed. Like, it's easier to adjust BPMs to, like, songs. Like, uh, like some trap songs will, like, lie in, like, 64 BPM or, like, the 60 range. And then that also lies in, like, house. Like, that's 128 pretty much. And 70 is closer to 64 than 40 is to 128. You feel me? So, like, I don't know. That's how I always look at it. I think I think a beneficial thing about, like, not doing double time and just doing like the the half time or whatever 
is that like say you you do like make drum and bass and say you just want to drop like a hip hop track or something like that or like yeah. a glitch hop track within your set it's already gonna be like you, it'll be easier to match because it's like eighty oh, something sure. yeah for sure for sure. I mean, but I mean, if you're not good at math, oh shit, yeah. bro. See, and, that, and that's that's the <laughs> yeah. one reason I I don't like to have my shit at halftime. Cause say like I do like want to go back to back with someone, but the, for the most oh, part, there's just the, double time, bro. Like, and then the always, double time kind of messes you up whenever there's a there is some drum and bass tracks that are 175. Oh, sure. So then they'll mess you up because it's going to be like the point. Like, point yeah, something. point yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Uh, especially when you're mixing a, a double time or a half time track and you're, and you're working with sync. I was about to say. That's yeah. an issue. Sync. That's yeah. an issue. Yeah. For sure. So uh, That's why you got to analyze, analyze your tracks however you can yeah. analyze You can it. analyze it in record box. Yeah, just change the BPM to double time or half time or whatever. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Like, I can see that being a big issue with sync. Like, if you're back to back with somebody, uh, that that the opposite format of yeah. you, they're doing double time and you're doing half time. Like, yeah, I can see that being. Oh well, yeah, just stay on top of that. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta stay on top of that. It's just, you gotta be like on stage, like talking to the person. Hey, what's this half time? Yeah. What's this, you know. Or you gotta bring your calculator out. Yeah, you gotta pull your phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, we're here in the last round. Dude, you got to the last round. You got okay. you got to the last round, bro. You know how many people get to the last round? Every every, every one of our guests gets to the yeah, last round. Like- <laughs> no, for sure, bro. Like, it, you know, no, there was nothing coming out of that one. <laughs> Fraga Spaghetti. That's how you say it. Fraga. I've always been saying it's bag heady. It's just spaghetti? It's, it's spaghetti. Spag-heady. spaghetti, bro. I always thought it was spag heady. Me too. And, <laughs> and you know what? I should have caught I should have caught on because Two plus two equals four, and all of his album work is like fucking spaghetti and noodles and shit. Like that. <laughs> his new EP is like referencing like noodles and shit. Oh. Uh, so yeah, this is off of the new, uh, not not even EP, fucking album. This fool came out with an album, bro. Uh, so many uh, brand new music. This one's called Fraga. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, for the new timers too, uh, just getting into dance music. Veteran right here, spaghetti, spaghetti. God damn, it, I gotta fucking, <laughs> I get so mixed up with that shit. But Fraga, check out the new project. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and let's get to the sixth round, and we'll talk to Tempos. Let's get it. I, I don't know if I started this on the build or not, but I guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm conflicted with the fucking uh, structure of that shit. I don't of, know. I'm going like... to say 140. <laughs> 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 you know, it's funny. I was like literally talking about production. You're like, yeah, 140. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I think if you know what uh, spaghetti usually like produces that, I feel like this is falls in, into that BPM yeah. range. Like, I already, I think I know what it is. I don't know. <laughs> Final answer, 140? Yeah. What do you, what is it? I want to say 150. Think- it's off the top of my head. I just want to go on. Just because it's spaghetti or spaghetti, whatever. <laughs> okay, 150. 150, bro, 150. I'm going 150, bro. Okay. <laughs> you say 140. I say 150. Robert says 150. It don't really matter what we say. No. It matters what record box says, bro. <laughs> so record box... Show us what the fuck matters for this last round. Oh, oh one fifty! Wow. wow. <laughs> 150. Okay. It's a spaghetti <laughs> track, bro. I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah. Okay. One fifty. That was. Uh, there's your curveball, bro. Uh, there was your curveball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So. Close, yeah, bro. dude. That was guess that tempo, bro. You. You did great, bro. Yeah. You got what? Like, like half of them. Bro, half. you got yeah. like they had three, four. Yeah. Like, you know the average is one. <laughs> Two. Oh really? Yeah. Oh wow. Like, I think the biggest percentage of people getting, 
Yeah, it's one. Yeah, that's the biggest percentage. One, and then two is like our next percentage, and then three, like four. We only had one person guess all six right. Oh, really? And they got the encore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, going back to what you were saying too about like you don't like you kind of want to keep the flow going like you 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 always want to feed into that frenzy we don't you, we didn't want to feed that frenzy to our guests because dude he was like hot oh. if it was like guessing each tempo get to, and if I feel like if I kept giving him more songs he was just gonna like get his high, I don't want to like fluff his high score like I already knew like he was about that shit and I was just gonna like help him like nah 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 you have to control that shit sometimes yeah at the the reach for that has to be realistic. So, you know, we had to cap sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah, bro, uh, I think you did a great job on this episode of Guess That Tempo. Uh, how did you think you feel? Uh, how do you I, feel you think? I did decent, I think. You did decent? You I think, think, I think the, the ones that would mess me up were the trap beats. Uh, <laughs> was there songs that... Well, I mean, there was one song that I think the like, only yeah. ones that got wrong were the trap beats. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything else you did, uh, did get right. Yeah, right? I got them right. Let me ask you this: uh, Out of all those songs, what were the ones? Uh, what was the one that stuck out to you the most? Oh, uh, your track. The one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, your track was dope. I like it. Oh, thanks. Bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. No, like I said, dude, <laughs> there was like a section of that shit I wanted to like fucking. It was like that close to scrapping, uh, and I'm kind of glad I didn't really. I'm glad you did. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't either. It sounded pretty, really good. Like I like it. No, uh, yeah, I, I like it too. Uh, and if you want to know how that workflow is, dude, uh, like I said, free stems are available. So if you do, if you don't want to make like a remix, you want to know how. And I get uh, I have stems for every track on the EP. Huh. So if you don't want to know how that workflow is in that track, there's like two other dubstep ones that you can get stems for, and there's got that power too. You get stems for. So yeah, anyone that's coming across this episode, they want to do some remixes. They want to learn more about my workflow, my production. Uh, you could download the sense for free on my SoundCloud description. Uh, all my link in bio. Free. Don't got to pay nothing. Uh, maybe you got to give up your email or some shit like that. Well, shit, man. You know, it comes with a catch. What do you want to do? You want to give me 20 bucks or you want to you wanna give me your email? <laughs> you make that decision. You let me know what you want to do. But I think people like the gates for now. So, hope you guys enjoy the stems. Uh, yeah. It was You want to uh, say any announcements, too, for those that didn't uh come across the other episode you want to just like reshare any of those uh new um, music shows you're gonna be having yeah i got so uh, announcements i got uh two eps coming out one with uh another producer named romy uh coming out next week i believe that's like the first week of july i think i think it's like sometime yeah first week of july and then um i got another ep coming out with the, the homie GS5 on uh, Bump and Grind, and that one's coming out um, July 14th. So, yeah, keep a lookout on those and catch me around Licking Dip. If you guys are in the LA area, if you want guests, hit me up. Oh, there you have it. <laughs> yeah, and we get, dude, we get thousands of people watching this video, bro. So, oh, yeah. no, I, just, <laughs> I was like, shit, that's a whole big ass guest <laughs> I was like, damn, they, bro. they already get mad at me with my guests. I, like, I always go over like 20 people all the time. <laughs> and, and it's hard, you know, it's, it's you know, I think when you're put in a position to like guest those people, it's a very hard situation too because you want to say yes man like uh, i don't want to say no to people i don't want to uh, be like no nah, you can't get guess this it's hard to, <laughs> yeah it's very sometimes and uh, you know sometimes there's that leeway and it's sometimes sometimes people do it to themselves too like y you have to be that person sometimes too because like it's like oh like dude not i can't do it like or yeah or sometimes you know i've had some people tell me to like oh dude i can't do it for this show it's like oh dude it's all good bro like yeah. i still ain't paying the 20 though <laughs> it's all good. It's all good, bro. I guess I'm not going. <laughs> I'm just not coming no more. <laughs> I guess I'm not supporting. I don't know. Nah, it's all good. I guess I'm not playing. <laughs> uh, but, dude, thank you for coming through to Guess the Tempo, to do the podcast here at Lucid Tempo. We're going to leave the link in the description so everyone that comes across the episode can go and follow you okay. uh, on your Instagram. Uh, if you have Twitter, uh, SoundCloud for sure. Um, any last words before we end today's episode? Uh, thank you for having me, man. Oh, dude, yeah. thank you. Uh, appreciate you having us for your first podcast. Yeah. Uh, to face the Temple Challenge. And appreciate all you guys for tuning in for our guests. And uh, tuning in for all of our guests as well. We stream this uh, days before we upload it on YouTube or a day before. We always like to keep it fresh. 
So follow us on our Twitch, twitch.tv slash Lucid Tempo. Might even find us on Kick. Who the fuck knows? 2023, <laughs> shit. I heard they're painted out uh, over there on Kick. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we're, we're cool with Twitch, though. I mean, multi-streaming these days. Uh, follow us on Instagram as well, at Lucid Tempo. SoundCloud, if you guys like the audio. But we always recommend to check out the YouTube, the video format, because you can see everything. You can see our reactions and all that good stuff. We appreciate you guys' support, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you guys so much. Peace.